Good day. How are you doing? Hope all is well. And here we have another optimization problem. So this is a, a minimizing cost optimization problem. And Dominic is the jolly court jester needs to create a square based rectangular box. I already drew it right here with a volume of 32,000 cubic inches. And uh, that's for his king. And he needs to produce or create the box at a lowest possible cost. Now, the cost of material for the sides of the box are 25 cents per square inch. So that's important, very important for the for setting up the cost function. While the cost of the material for the top and the bottom of the box costs just a dollar per square inch. So we want to find the dimensions of the box that minimize the cost. So here's what I'm going to do. We know it's a uh, square based rectangular box. So I'm going to call this X and I will call this X also. And I will call the height uh, H in this case. Um, okay, so now we know that the volume, they gave, they gave us the volume, it needs to be 32,000 cubic inches. And the volume for a rectangular box of these dimensions will be just x times x times the height, right? So x times x times h, so x squared times h. So I'm going to leave this for now, and I'm going to set up the cost function. Okay, so what is the cost of producing this marvelous box? Well, we're going to have four sides um, that will cost basically the same. So for the sides of the box, we have 25 cents per square inch. So I'm going to write the 0.25 here. And uh, each one of these sides, so let's take this one for instance, will measure just x by h. But there are four of them. The front, the back, and the two lateral sides here. So 4 times x times h. But then we also have the top and the bottom of the box and they cost they have a different cost it's a dollar per square inch so here's the bottom of the, bo the box and that's going to measure x squared in terms of area right so x times x x squared and uh, we have the top and the bottom so that would be 2 times x squared and we're going to multiply that by one dollar Right, because the uh, to make or the, the material for the top and the bottom costs a buck per square inch. Fantastic. So this is our cost function. I'm going to simplify a little bit, and a quarter times four is just one. So we just get x h plus well one times two x squared is just two x squared. Fantastic. Now since this is an, this is an optimization problem, we want to minimize the cost. So what we need to do is take the derivative of the cost and set it equal to zero, but I just need one variable. And here I have two variables, X and H. So what shall we do? Well, 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 we need to use this function here to isolate H. So I'll divide both sides by X squared. So they cancel out. And now I have H is equal to 32,000 over x squared. Now that I have h isolated, I'll take it and I'll plug it in over here. So the cost into the cost function, so x times 32,000 over x squared plus 2xh is the cost function. And of course, you can cancel out the x squared here, the squared with the x. And the cost function is now very clean and neat. We have 32,000 over x plus 2x squared. Fantastic. Now, now we can finally take the derivative of the cost function and set it equal to zero to find the value of x where we minimize the cost. So the derivative of 32,000 over x is negative 32,000 over x squared. And the derivative of 2x squared is 4x, right? Now I'm just going to quickly review why that is the case. 
piece of cake. 32,000 is over x. Well, not x squared, just x. So that's the same thing as 32,000 times x to the negative 1. So bring the negative 1 down, multiply by 32,000. So you get negative, and I subtract 1 from the exponent. So I get x to the negative 2, which just goes down below. And the derivative of 2x squared is just bring down the 2, multiply by 2, I get 4x, and I subtract 1 from the exponent. So I make that equal to 0 now to solve for x. So I'll start by subtracting 4x from both sides of the equation. So x squared equals negative 4x. Now I'll just multiply both sides by negative 1, and I get positive on both sides. Then I'll multiply both sides by x squared. So these cancel out, and I have 32,000 equals 4x cubed. Now we can just divide both sides by 4, and x cubed will be equal to 8,000. 32,000 divided by 4. Great. Now, what I can do is that I can just take the cubic root of both sides. And the cubic root of 8,000 is just 20. Look at that. So, x is 20. That's also 20. And we're going by inches, right? That's the unit. Now we need to figure out what h is because then we can answer the question. Then we will know the dimensions of the box that would minimize uh, the cost. So, the last sentence that I wrote here was strangely worded. Oh well, hopefully it makes sense to everyone. How can we determine h? We can take a look at this function here and plug in the 20 right there. So I get 32,000 over 20 squared. 20 squared is 400. So I can cancel out these zeros here. 30 or 320 divided by 4 is just 80. So that is h. So the dimensions will be 20 inches by 20 inches by 80 inches tall. That's going to be, and these are going to be the dimensions for the box with the least possible cost considering these values. And that's it.